Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a little llama bag. Who doesn't love a knitting llama? Oh, she's so cute. And that is from the Zany Zoo. Um, it's from the full suite actually, but the Zany Zoo stamp set. So I stamped, die cut and coloured with blends and it uses the paper as well. So I've got a couple of the papers out here and aren't they lovely? So much fun. Okay, and I turned it into a bag because I just thought it was cute. So I'm going to show you how to make the bag and then do the decorating. Need a piece of cardstock. I've got basic black here, eight by 11 inch. Why am I super zoomed in? Why is that? Did I just go out a bit there? There we go. Um, eight by 11 inches, 20 by 27 and a half centimeters. On the long side, score it at two, five and a quarter, seven and a quarter, and ten and a half inches. If you work in metric, five, thirteen, eighteen, and twenty-six, um, turn it to the side and score it at one and a half inches, which is four centimeters, and then come back to the original side. And we're going to score down to about the five inch mark, so about twelve and a half centimeters down from one inch down to there, and at six and a quarter down to there and in metric I haven't written it down so it's going to be oh two and a half and 13 15 and a half yes 15 and a half centimeters that's going to put this score line in and scooch that over there and then get my steel ruler and I'm just going to join up let me tip that so you can see it there we go the bottom of that line down to there and there to put this mark in I do like saying you I haven't used it as much as I would like to, but we've got birthdays on the way at the end of the month. Well, actually, it's the beginning of September. It's the last birthday in our house. Um, and it's my third son, Jacob. He is turning 15. So I thought, not that he would have a knitting llama, but... I have got something that's going to go on here instead or instead of a knitting line. Okay. So I'm going to take some bits off there. I'm trying to think. So you're seeing this on a Friday. I'm now in America. Obviously, I'm not filming this. Um, I'm in America. And today is uh, it's our planned day to go to Universal Studios up in Burbank in California. I went there, I've only been once before, that was at the beginning of 2020 with Luke. And since it's oh, since we were there, three and a half years ago, um, they've opened Super Nintendo World and the boys are very excited for that. Okay, right, before I put this together, I'm going to put my patterned front on. And that's this piece here. So I wanted the darker background. Um, this measures up six and a quarter inches long by three inches wide, which is uh, 15 and a half centimetres by seven and a half centimeters so that's just going to go on the front and where's my seal here it is and you need to just make sure that you're going on the front not the back where the seam is so that's this panel okay and then i'm going to get some tear and tape along here off the backing and then I can just fold that closed and then fold in my sides I'm just going to put some tape on the edges because if I show you on this one it doesn't meet up completely that was so that I could get a little little tiny bit of extra height on the bag didn't need to close up I wanted to give this a little bit more to grip onto so I've put that on that part there because the center parts don't meet up so that's going to stick to there and then that's going to stick to the whole thing but you can pop glue where you can see oh that paper paste has just landed in my lap oh ouch so I'm just going to Stick that down. 
and that one there we go so that's the front done and if you just push with your fingers just to gently guide the score lines have done the work anyway so we don't need to worry about buckling or anything like that but that's all closed up right, I'm going to get a couple of my binder clips and running out of those are those the same? they're close enough to be the same you could go in the centre actually I might do this one in the middle and then you get a very slightly different finish to the top so this is obviously fully closed that's very slightly open that's quite fun to do different and you could even go a bit more like that and it's difficult to show you because obviously it's a black background but you can go a bit more like that that's quite fun okay right so I'm not doing stamping this time around so all of these stamps these stamps here have matching dies so the um the leopard the ballet dancing leopard the knitting llama singing turtle tortoise and what have you all of those have got corresponding stamps uh, corresponding dies but some of these some of the paper packs have also got those same images in so you can die cut them so we've got that's the singing tortoise over here with the matching die and then our raccoon with balloons and the other ones do as well but the raccoon with the balloons is the one that I wanted to do so I'm going to totally cheat today and I'm I've lost a clear plate there it is I'm going to do that now I also have um, after many recommendations but I've lost it away somewhere here we go many recommendations I couldn't get mint tape here in the UK if you saw my videos bemoaning the fact that I had been and bought some special tape and to hold my dies in place and it wasn't working. Um, lots of people suggested mint tape from scrapbook.com um, but I looked and the postage was like £15 so I thought I don't want to do that. And then somebody very kindly suggested that I look for low tack tape on Amazon UK and this was somebody in America who very kindly suggested that to me and I've bought it we're going to test it together so this is purple low tack tape look I haven't even undone it um, oh that doesn't look like it's very sticky at all does it let me get rid of that end. so we're going to test this together I'm still going to de-stickify it on my hand right my raccoon with a balloon down here. If this works, I will put a link for you because I really hope it does. I love die cutting. I hate fiddling and waiting for it all. And I got a set of three, I think, for two ninety nine or three ninety nine. Not very much at all. And the problem I have is not holding it in place. It's they're too sticky and they oh, yes that just fell out oh yes I'm a happy girly the problem I've had with other stuff like this is meant to be low tack tape when you run it through it welds itself to your piece of paper even if you de-stickify it on your hand oh I'm thrilled yes <laughs> Happy me, yes, so I'm going to be putting a link for that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the little things, isn't it? Okay, let me come back to my project. Now, um, the panel I've got on the front, I cut it specifically for the size of my llama so that there was a little bit of, well, there was quite a lot of border around, so you can see the pattern in the background. Obviously, my raccoon with balloons is a different size, so I pre-measured, pre-measured? pre-measured it so I know so my panel is going to be bigger um, so whichever character you put I probably would arguably say that the the crocodile on the bicycle is going to be too wide well maybe you might be able to just about get away with it um, but any of the others but just measure up and then you get that nice equal border um, I want to say this was two and a quarter by three and a quarter inches. So what am I looking for? Tape. Oh, it's right, it's right here. Um, so yeah, maybe six by um, eight centimetres. And then there's just a quarter of an inch bigger. So two and a half by three and a half. 
And then I did put linen thread behind that one, but I want to go, I'm gonna, yeah, I think that's gonna show up. Um, oh, I keep putting it down and can't see it. So I'm just gonna do some little loops of black. Just because I quite like them and for the longest time they were known as poodle loops because I put them on it. I put loops on absolutely every project I worked on and um, people started calling them poodle loops because poodles put them on everything. Okay and my raccoon with the balloons. I think he, I probably ought to colour him in but I'm not going to now. Um, but you could. This edge piece because it's a good size. There you go. And that is just going to go on there. If I could get it lined up, it would. And those are cute little birthday bags. You can add a sentiment if you want, or you could just pop treats and goodies inside. Um, the finished dimensions, so I didn't give you that. Um, two inches by three and a quarter by six and a half. So five centimeters by eight by 16 and a half centimeters. Great size bags. Um, yeah, I hope you like it. I'm just looking to my left. So back on Monday, Monday is a Disney, Disneyland day for me. Um, that will be Monday. And I'm looking across to my left and I've got a sneak peek project for you. Haven't filmed it yet, obviously. Um, but it's sneak peek of some stuff coming in our winter catalogue so keep your eyes open for that and friday is as well and yeah anyway hope you like them thank you ever so much for joining me hope to speak to you soon bye <laughs>